Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a mobile game using Scratch. So let's get started. So first you need to go to this website called Seed Tester. So it has a custom ratio where you can change the width and the height of this screen. So before changing the height and width, first I'll show you how to download the offline edition of this so click on file and click on download offline mode then you see this file so it's a zip file and click on extract to and then double click on this and Again, double click. Then you find a HTML document called index. So double click on that, and then it will give you the offline mode of this website. So now let's change our height and width so it matches the ratio of the phone. So click on file change url settings and let's change the stage width to 375 now height to 667 so you can enter your custom width and height so i'll use this then click on done and now you can see our height and width have changed So I load my preloader project. So I have made a project called Tappy Plane. You can see this is my project. You can download it in the Google Drive link on the description below. So okay, let's play. So you need to tap. So it's similar to Flappy Bird, so I name it as Tappy Plane. So the game has sets up from Kenny, I'll give you the description of that. And when you're making this game, make sure you make it mobile friendly. So make sure you don't use the up arrow, right arrow and all the other arrows and keys of the keyboard. So make sure you use only this mouse down, mouse X and mouse Y it's because we are making a mobile game. Then we need to convert our scratch project to HTML. So for that you can use this website called HTMLifier. So I'm using this offline edition, you can download the offline one so click on sheep tester and make sure you save it to your computer click on save then you can see on the download folder it got saved and click on the second link it directs you to HTML file so it converts your scratch project to HTML so first I'll upload my project file or you can just type your ID or the URL so I'll choose my file and then give your project a name so make sure you type index so don't type anything else just type index 
make sure all are in lowercase so name your project as index then enable compatibility mode so we don't need the loading progress bar we don't need the fabricant or the background image if you like click on this start project immediately on load so full screen button so we don't need the start and stop buttons because we are making a mobile app and maintain the spec ratio mouse pointer is default so you can use your custom cursor and click on this use custom variable list So if you uncheck this, it will give you a transceiver and black for the variables. And this is the important part. So click on this. Does this project use a custom size? Yes, we use a custom size. So click this. Check this and enter your width and height. So you can find your width and height here. So width equals 275 and height equals 667 so make sure you type correctly so it's 375 and height 667 and then click on download automatically and click on stimulify you can see it got downloaded so click on open file or mute the tab So now you can see you can play your Scratch projects on your browser, just offline. So our next step is go to File Explorer and find your downloaded HTML file. Make sure you name it as index. And now make a new folder. So I'll name it as game. Mobile game. Enter and cut and paste it inside your folder. So make sure your index.html file is inside a folder. So now you need to download an application called website to apk builder. So I'll provide the link in the description. So sometimes it would say to install java. So after opening you see website type to convert so click on local html website so because we are using html file so now click on app title and give your game a title so type happy plane and app orientation i'll choose portrait and output directory So I'll choose our output and app share text, app exit text. So you, you can use your own custom one. Directory of local website. So choose folder. So choose your folder where your index.html file is there. So if you hadn't name it as index. It will say there's no file called index.html so make sure you type your game as index and disable this so I'll color scheme to black and change the icon so I'll change this icon to a red Plane, customize app permissions so we don't need any permission to play our game so one check all click ok so catch 
mode is default catch. We don't need this flash preview. Set it to zero milliseconds. So if you need this flash preview, you can set it to custom and browse. and make your own splash preview so the progress wheel I chose custom and jelly bean and extras support zoom and uncheck check selection so check save data from on full screen uncheck allow external URLs and uncheck home button so we don't need a home button and then click on generate APK so click OK A APK created successfully, so we'll click on finish. So now go to your folder, so your output folder, and then you can find your APK. So now we need to send this APK file to our phone. So you can do it in many ways. So you can upload it to your Google Drive and send it to gmail or send it through bluetooth so i'll send using bluetooth so make sure bluetooth is turned on and your phone bluetooth is turned on and make sure both the devices are paired so okay it's paired now click on send a file then select your phone browse the file and search tapiplane.apk click on open next so you will see it says file transfer accept it now you can see it's sending and on your mobile you can see it receiving So file successfully transfer, click on finish and you see on your phone it says file received.